Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am, this is an iconic moment for me because I am standing, I'm standing in front of Liberace's former home. Looky there. This is the Liberace mansion. There's the Moroccan room up there. And we are going to go inside. This is where Liberace used to live here in Las Vegas. We've got the Liberace Museum. It's stunning. This was actually the first house in uh, Las Vegas that was been on the Clark County Register of Historic Places in 2016. It was the very first one. So this, so this, this piano here. So this is a, um, it's a, it's a 1904 uh, Grand Baldwin piano. Um, but one, something that's one specific thing about this piano, so this actually used to be his touring piano. Wow. So he used to take this with him everywhere he played. Now I'm sure you can imagine how expensive and cumbersome it would be to drag a piano with you everywhere you go. So, so one day what happened was Baldwin sponsored Liberace. But Baldwin, so Baldwin was Liberace's preferred preferred piano. I can't, I don't know if it was his, if he played it exclusively at some point, but I know it was always his preferred. Yeah. Now, what happened was when Baldwin sponsored him, is they actually put a piano in every venue that he was playing in, so that way he wouldn't have to travel with this. Smart. So, instead of traveling with the piano, he traveled with an acrylic lid with a signature on it. So that way it still looked like he was traveling with a piano, but even though he wasn't, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there is actually a signature right here, too, if you guys want to <gasps> take a look at it. He was quite the artist too, being able to draw that I know, the piano. piano on every single one of his signatures. Wow. I'm sitting at Liberace's piano right now. He played this piano. Wow, this is the Baldwin piano. And I'm just like looking at, like I like to look at things when I'm buying things. I like utilitarian pieces, pieces that I can see what the history was and you can see someone's, that they've used it, they've held it in their hands. And like looking at the keys on here and just kind of just kind of noticing some of the wear that's on them just I just I love that because you know this was also something that somebody used with their hands and they earned their living using this instrument right here and that's no different to me than someone picking up a, a hammer or you know a, a, a trowel with you know building a barn or you know doing something utilitarian to feed their family and to earn a living, and this is was his this was his hammer. <laughs> this is amazing. The square shape of these pianos, mm -hmm. and I was told that the reason why that these were these were square shaped was because so I guess these legs can screw off. So and during that time, from years ago, so things used to be transported via carriage. So the shape of this allowed it to be easier to transport. <laughs> so now we have a, so this, this bar here, uh, this is the, the mirror bar. Yeah. So probably the, the most famous, I was considered the most famous bar in the house. <laughs> so Liberace loved to entertain guests and he used to serve behind this bar. Sometimes he would do the serving himself, but I believe most of the time he had his butler um, slaying the drinks behind the bar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, you see there's a signature right here, etched into, etched into here. Yeah. That's completely original to this, this house. And also, I've had, now I've had this confirmed by two people recently. So these musical notes right here, so they actually go to his song, I Will Be Seeing You. I wouldn't know, because I can't read a I, lick of I music. See, <laughs> see Frank Sinatra, Siegfried and Roy, yeah. you know, Barbara Streisand. And another funny, another you know, funny Barbara Streisand story. What's and that? So it's funny because not a lot of people know this when I tell them. So Liberace actually um, discovered Barbara Streisand in a coffee shop. So he he found her and thought she was incredible. Now, when when he when he discovered her, he asked her. He actually asked her if she could open for him in his shows, which. And this is just this is before Barbara was even you know you know she, she was just, just 
a girl. Was, just, just, just a girl with a girl with a coffee house. Yeah. And so now you can imagine. So Barbara Streisand and Liberace, two very different, very different artists. They have very different fan bases. So when Barbara would open for Liberace, they actually didn't warm up to Barbara as much as he would hope. So one thing he did to kind of help get her going was he actually decided to open for her for a little bit. So he opened for her so that way he could warm up the crowd and then they could be all softened up and ready for, for Barbara when she came out. It's one of those things that makes me have a great... Even yeah, he didn't have for, to do that. Yeah, exactly. He didn't. It makes me have um, a great deal of respect for Liberace. Yeah. And I always, I, I don't know how many times, I've heard several stories of him doing things like that. It just confirms, you know, what kind of person he was. Yeah. The garden, um, or where the pool was, uh-huh. which is now the, where the ballroom is. So when Mr. Raymond approached the house, this door went to the ballroom. These are actual Liberace costumes here. They're not from the movie. They're uh, they were actually his, <laughs> right? No, they're not. They're not from. The, they're not from the movie. But they did belong. They did actually belong to him. Wow. So I'll take it. Like I'll take it open these up for you. Yeah, I won't touch. <laughs> this is like little. A little like. Almost, it, it's like it ca- a cage boy or something. No, it kind of reminds me of like a bullfighting, but very French also, like. So that, 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 that one's a, that one's a, I, I, so that one's a, the Polish pink, what it's called. Okay. So now this is, I would even say this is a little bit more reserved for Liber, Liberace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it probably was much lighter. Yeah. To it, wear. It, it, it was. But um, I was I was told that one one year he actually wore this um, at the Easter parade. Oh my gosh, that's out, perfect. Came out of a giant Easter egg. Oh nice. And we've got the Velcro along. Was that for his bow tie? I, that's, I bet. That's my guess. Now, uh, you notice here there's a lot of um, po- a Polish influence on there. His mother, his mother was Polish. <laughs> his father was Italian. His mm-hmm. mother was Polish. So you see that he pulls he pulls some influence from his from his roots there. Now, if you think that one's reserved for Liberace, <laughs> then this one's definitely even more more so. Yes. So this was an, a very early design from. And said so this was probably from the fifties. So pro- probably. So or or yeah. whatever whatever he actually officially you know started you know going off on his own. So before the Barashi you know became the musician that he was, he was actually a concert pianist. Mm-hmm. But you know being a concert pianist didn't exactly pay the bills during that time. Right. So he decided to branch off on his own. Now. Back then, when he branched off on his own, everyone, all the men, used to wear black tuxedos. Mm-hmm. Now he found out that he couldn't, he couldn't just stick out in just a black tuxedo. So he came out with this, so that way, you know, it still, it doesn't range too far away from the norm. So he kind of came out, kind of, you know, very subtly at first, mm-hmm. but it still put his, it was still a signal, kind of put his stamp yeah. On, yeah. on this outfit. Yeah. So this he was, of, it was he was branding. Yeah, it was exactly. like an early form of, exactly. of identifying your brand. So this one actually was originally in the living room. Okay. Oh, so mm-hmm. the one in the, in the living room was actually in here. We actually swapped the two because the one that's currently in the living room it hung. It hung too low, too low for here. Yeah. Um. So we so we swapped them out so that way. You know, so that yeah. Well, I can tell you what, if I was here having dinner with Liberace, he, and, and if he got to know me real well, he'd say, you know, we're going to have to tuck these in because Misty will trip <laughs> on them. So you have to like tuck those for, in. For, we, we do it for the, for, we have it for the look. <laughs> right, right. So, He's like, oh, Misty's now, coming. Now, another thing that was actually his are actually these, um, these gold chargers here. Oh, awesome. You notice these, these days. So these are solid. These are these are that's a, that's a brass right there. Yeah. <coughs> now you know I got to check for labels. You know. It's so how these I, were actually. Um, those are Royal Dalton. So these were actually sold off in that auction that the Liberace Foundation held. Does that say Royal Dalton? I think it, yeah. Those are Royal Dalton. Royal Dalton is known for a lot of their porcelains and ceramics oh, okay. and plates and things like that. Yeah. Wow. So, well, we have not these aren't like the cheap ones that you get from Dollar Tree. 
You know, I get my chargers from Dollar Tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like actual metal and not plastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I asked what were all these glasses for? Because that's a lot. Yes. Now, I think I think some of these got moved moved a little bit. So, because this, this this is this is a water goblet, mm -hmm. and um, we have this set up as like a like a white wine mm -hmm. glass, and this one was for a red, red. wine, and then you get the champagne. Yeah. Now. Normally I do a, normally the water glass will actually come here and this will come right here, but because of the size of everything, we... we it just looks, yeah. Yeah, we did, we did, we did that. <laughs> it, it looks really, really nice. That's beautiful. Liberace would be proud. That's a look. <laughs> I'm standing at Liberace's actual bar and he used to serve people drinks and he'd come in here. And I'm, I, again, I'm always looking at wear on things. So you can see all of these little scratch marks and stuff. I mean, who knows? That could have been Barbara Streisand's scratch right there. <laughs> Liberace could have scratched it right here when he was making somebody's drink. So I, I just, I love the story behind things that might be a little bit flawed. Like someone may be like, well, this isn't perfect, but I like that it has a story to it. And I wish I knew what that scratch was from. I wish that scratch. <laughs> can you talk to me, a little scratch? I want to know. This is amazing. And I can so totally just see him go, come on over here, I'll make you a drink. And everybody should have a bar in their house. Cindy does. It's true, I do. I don't. I don't. But this is great. So uh, one thing I told you, told you guys is that the house was uh, 15,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I didn't mention earlier is the fact that this the mansion is actually two houses combined into one. And you can tell that from standing right here, when you look at the ceiling over here, and then you can look at the ceiling on that side. You can see that they're two different heights. So, so this spot right here in the middle is right where the houses were to join. Now, um, it, and it's held up by these four, these four pillars right here, these four marble pillars. And he actually got these pillars he actually had them um, imported from Greece. Wow. So if you go feel them, they're solid. They are solid marble. Wow. Of course they are. <laughs> Why not? Why not? What, what, I, what I find interesting too about you know, the fact that these are imported from Greece, this house was built in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. Now, during that time, Greece had actually put an embargo on things like this. So I'm not I'm honestly not sure how he managed to actually get them here. But I'm guess I'm assuming Well I mean he got the staircase here. We're gonna hear about the staircase later, but I mean he got the staircase here. <laughs> that would probably would have been harder than these, yeah. but but not with the embargo probably made it. Yeah. Exactly. Gosh. And I see you found the pictures of uh Liberace with that's the Queen Elizabeth That's who just, who just passed away. I know. Look at how handsome. Yes, uh, he was definitely younger. He that. is such a handsome guy, and oh my gosh, then, I'm obsessed with the Queen too. Yeah, and, that, so. and that's, the, that's the Queen Mother here. Yeah. Oh. Wow. He did get invited to come play for them, for them one year. Wow. Now it's a Nickelodeon. Yep. Um, it's a player piece. <gasps> And there's a quarter, there's a slide here for a quarter. And we have to keep quarters right here. Oh my God. That way we can show people what it does there. I mean, it's even got a little drum inside it. Yes. So you have the, you have the, the xylophone up there. Yeah. And if you look down there, you'll see the drums and the tambourines. And you'll see the voice of the music. Oh yeah, 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 you can see the rolls down there. You can see the xylophone here at the top. Yeah. Oh, he would have loved it. This hall of mirrors based off of the hall of mirrors in Versailles. So these 
These sconces on the wall here are original to the house. So we were able to keep those. And this that chandelier and this chandelier here too, they're also original. So th those are some of the chandeliers that are stuck to the wall and they stay with the house. Wow. Let's I do too. That was actually done by um, actually a friend, a friend of my boss's. Um, so they have a so this is a, like early, very early before we really you know opened up to the public. They held a, an art exhibit for for their friend. Wow. And he actually donated this to you know he paid this for for us. That's amazing. That is incredibly done. It is because it's like you're looking at the soul, looking at the straight yeah. on view. That's really. It's very. I, I, I think it's very, very cool. You can, you can actually see like the caring that's in his eyes. Yeah. Oh, you guys. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. But let's <laughs> let's listen, Misty. Don't get too excited, Misty. Listen. <laughs> oh, this is the master bathroom. So this is you know where 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 it happened, where you know the beginning of the show. Yeah. We filmed it. So this bathtub here was actually exactly where he did that. So this wallpaper, which I, I love this wallpaper. I do too. So it's completely original to the house. Now we weren't able to save all of it. So you see how much they lost. They lost. Like, like it, but the, it looks good. Oh yeah, the no, way it's it, 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 it looks incredible. Yeah, it absolutely looks yeah. it, like it, it. It it fits. Yes. And now this fountain does still work. He has a freaking fountain yeah. in his bathroom, yeah. like they, a legit concrete fountain. And there used to be another piece on the top of it. Wow. Yeah, that was missing when, when we came in. But this fountain does still work. Um, I just currently don't have any water in it because we filled it, we took it out to have it clean. Wow. And the doors, look at the carvings yeah, the on door, the doors. The doors are original to the house. I think that, that the hand carved doors, I think some things like that are very good indications of originality. Oh, absolutely. I only tell you, everyone should have double doors on their, <laughs> when they leave their bedroom to announce their arrival for the day. Yes, I'm, I'm leaving the house. <laughs> walk past your, your fountain. Yeah, exactly. You walk past your, somebody them up yeah. right, <laughs> nine o'clock sharp, be there to open my doors. <laughs> walk past my fountain. Now, um, another cool thing in here, if you look up in the ceiling, uh, yeah. you see the frescoes. And then you see his face. You saw I his love face. It. You used to look up at his face and he's taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> look at the babies, guys. The little babies. So, now, um, the person who painted this is actually the same person who painted this, this, the ceiling in there. And I'll, I'll get to that when we go, when we go in there. Now, so, I unfortunately don't have, a, I don't have a cool story about this. But I do know that these towel sets um, were actually owned by Liberace. I'm gonna guess from the late in the eighties. They look very. <laughs> they really do. Wow, Liberace's towels. <laughs> Don't see that every day. Yeah. Look at the candelabra baby up there. Wow. And you know, blue is such a calming color. That color blue, that yeah. sky blue. Blues and greens are such calming colors. And I love this wallpaper. So this wallpaper yeah, is I original. Think it's gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous. That's so pretty. It's not dated like a lot of wallpaper. No, it's, it's really not. It's just like a nice. It's really, it's really nice. Cold. It's like I, I think people, people would put this in. The so I love that there's like still nail holes. <laughs> Yeah. It just makes you wonder, you know, because I know other people lived in here after he did. Not for very long, though, really. No. Guys. You heard me talk about it. Let me take my purse off. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm getting a little bit she's back now. Oh, my gosh. Hey. I've wanted to do for years now. And again, I'm like looking at the fixtures and how they're tarnished and I, it like the drain. We all have bathtub drains. And that was Liberace's bathtub drain. And I, right here, doo -doo 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 -doo. that's where his little piano was when he, before the, the show. I mean, listen, how many people, you have a TV show. And like, if someone came up to me
me and said, you know what? The opening scene, we're going to film you in the bathtub. <laughs> I'd have been like, no, you're not. <laughs> and Liv Hirachi was like, that sounds great. Fabulous. Oh my gosh. Champagne bubble bath. That's one thing that he talked about at his Palm Springs house. People could have champagne bubble baths. This is amazing. Could you map me? Like, okay. Taking a bath. There's your well, There's my garden fountain and my chandelier and the babies and yeah. me. And your, your view this direction, not too shabby. And you know what else too? I'm sure you've noticed, but it's actually deeper than it looks. Yeah, and lots months. of people can fit in here. It's a party. This was the party. This was probably, I mean, there was probably lots of fun times that happened in this hot <laughs> I'm all about it. The thing of it is though too, like I, it's very slippery. I would think yeah. like you might hurt yourself. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like, um, a graphic designer in Mexico. And he and he actually he actually made this for us. Wow. It's all made out of plywood. Plywood and then the bow ties, those are nails. Wow, that's so cool. Wow. And it's honestly a very good likeness. Oh yeah. I mean it really is. Now was this uh one of his his pianos? Liberace's pianos. Actually, this one was the one. It was. I remember it was. It was either. So it was either because these ones. It, was, it looks very similar to, to the, the. Yeah. The one, the one right. Right. There. Mm -hmm. So I know it was one of them. One, one of these two is, is actually his. They're both. They're both Baldwin, and they're mm -hmm. both the, the Aerosonics. Mm. So they're both like almost the exact same piano. <laughs> and this one looks like it's from the fifties. So. But so, but I would I would believe it that this one looks like it, it, it probably might might have been. Yeah. So cool. Oh, uh, did you see all the fixtures of your? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is all original as well. You see that the the, the faucets is pretty much the same yeah. as as all of these here. Those are fabulous. Here's Liberace shower. It's a nice shower. It's a, it's a great bathtub. shower. It's a bathtub, but it's a, it's a shower. And I like that there's a little seat in it. Yeah. Uh, well, so here. So now here, I mean, this in this drawer was so the, the, one of the first families that had it um, after Liberace was the Turner family, mm -hmm. and so they and they actually discovered this. And so one, just one day, they were going through, and all of a sudden they discovered this, they noticed that something was off about this, you know, about this drawer. And they, they found the false drawer. And underneath that, underneath the, the board there was a bunch of jewelry of the Barajis. I don't know what they did with it, or where it all is today, but I can only imagine. I know Mr. Aaron, I was like, I wish I would have been the one to find that. Right. <laughs> and the same guy who painted that ceiling over here painted this. And if you look here, there's a signature on up here that tells you it was done by a descend direct descendant of uh, Michelangelo. Wow. So the same guy who painted the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican. The same, the same guy. Who his Family family's. lineage yes. of that. Yeah, wow. And what's amazing to me is how this managed to stay in such great condition wow. even when the house fell in the state that it was. Gosh. So this Ooh. mirror in here and fireplace was all original too and we got this beautiful like lucite acrylic mirror. Liberace, yeah. so one one day, so okay, first off, I'll, I'll tell you, if you uh, look around the neighborhood here, you notice that all the houses are one story. And um, this house was actually originally a one story as well. Now, when Liberace went, went on tour he, around the world, you know, there's some, he got a lot of influences on this tour for this house. You know, that's why, you know, he got the, the columns from Greece, and the call mirrors from Versailles. And he got this, this, he found this staircase during that tour in a can can room in Paris. Now, <laughs> now look, what, 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 I, 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 I'll, I, I'll never be able to wrap my head around this. So, when he saw the staircase, he decided that he wanted it so badly that 
he was gonna build the second story just so he can accommodate the staircase. Of course! <laughs> he knew what he wanted. <laughs> it's a one piece. It's a it's a one piece yeah. staircase too. And when you, we walk up it, you'll see how it wraps around. And you'll see that this space is made for this staircase. And you know, kind of weirdly, a, kind of a little abstractly, the opening a little bit looks like a grand piano. So, it does, kind of. I mean, a little bit? I, I, no, I, I can see it. I can definitely see it. I don't know. A little bit. Yeah, you can see the, you see the whole piano there. The yeah. Stool, the, the, the I mean, I know it's just the shape of the, of the staircase, but I mean, it... It fits. It fits. We'll go, we'll go with it. Okay. <laughs> Yay. It looks like Versace carpet, too. So, well, this, so originally, um, he had a red carpet that went over. Oh, did he? But it, was, it wasn't in great condition. Uh, so, so he had my, uh, my boss actually replaced it with this. It's fitting. It it's, yeah. it it's looks really good with my, it. My, 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 my boss, uh, Yvonne, he's a great, he's a great, he's, he's, the, event, he's the event planner and everything. He has a great touch for... Yeah, like interior this. design. Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, so do you know, like, the age of the staircase? Like, I know it was came from Paris, but... So, now, while he did find it in Paris, I know that it was actually made in Italy. Oh, wow. So, I don't know... I don't know the, the, the year. Um, I might... I might have something that... Some, some paperwork that... State that talks about that. Mm -hmm. I might be able. To, I might be able to dig it up and That's find amazing. It and find out. But wow. um, yeah, I can't confirm the year this was. This was. This was That's it's, beautiful. It's, it's, it's incredible. It definitely took a lot of time for them to restore this. Wow. They had to really put some detail into restoring the staircase. Oh, absolutely. We're going up the stairs. So upstairs, much smaller than the downstairs. Now, um, the room right there used to be uh, the Rocky's rehearsal room. That's now our office. Nice. And uh, behind this red curtain here is actually another bar, <laughs> but um, it's currently under renovation. So, <laughs> and now, but what, one thing that I find cool and so different from the rest of the house is the flooring in here. Mm -hmm. Now. When he decided to build a second floor for the house, he actually uh, found these floorboards in a saloon in California. What? It was an old saloon that was open during the gold rush era. Wow. And they were closing. So when they were closing, before they, you know, destroyed the building, he asked if he could take, the, if he could buy the floorboards from them. So he bought them. He repurposed them. Yeah, so he brought them here. And what's, what I what's, what I find fascinating is these all these plants are still in such great condition, and they used all of the original nails yeah. that were in the saloon. Yes. Really cool. Oh, if these floors could talk, do you know what I mean? The life that they oh lived. yeah lived both you know both being in Liberace's home, and you know all the the escapades in the wild wild west during the gold rush time. Lots of history. Wow, and here's his signature. Yes, there's that famous signature. Wow. Um, and then, then that, that was one of the menus from his, his, uh, restaurant. his restaurant, the Tivoli Gardens, where the uh, museum, oh, by where the museum used to be. My favorite of the house, the Moroccan room. It was, it was hot here today. Yeah. So I had to turn it on and it's cooled off. That's good. So, now, um, one thing great about this, this is the room that Marashi used to uh, act for his shows. And he used to play at the Hilton. The mm -hmm. International. Yeah. Uh, the same place Elvis Presley played yeah. and everything. So, he used to have a good view of the, of the Hilton from here. The Thomas and Max Center is kind of in the way now. Yeah. But, um, now the Hilton is the Westgate today. You come, this is like where they have a party kind of when you mm -hmm. have people come, come over, they have to kick back, have a cocktail, um, you know, let the night go away. Another bar. Hey, another bar. <laughs> now, another thing I find, so what, 
One thing I think that really puts this room together are the copper tiles on the wall. Mm -hmm. So if you look at all of them, you notice that the patina is a little bit different on, on all of them. Mm -hmm. And that's because the sun hits every every tile a little bit different. So they all have a different a different glare to them, but it all still blends together. It's like a carnival, yes. a carnival glass. And now um, you'll notice you'll probably notice more so on this side. Um, there's some of them on the top on the upper half that don't have as much of a glare to them as the others. Mm -hmm. Those are those, that's because those are the newer tiles. Mm. Now. When they were when they started to restore this room, so what happened was they had no idea what these tiles were. So Mr. Apel and my and, and my boss, and my boss is also the uh, the partner to Mr. Mm -hmm. Uh Vivon is, is, is Martin's partner. Mm -hmm. um, he's also a big mastermind behind <laughs> behind a lot of the stuff that have to happen here. It's good to have a partner in your life that is. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so. When they were taking these down, he, they, they couldn't find these tiles anywhere. So they had they actually were getting ready to take them down and put something else entirely. Mm -hmm. So fortunately, when they started taking the tiles down, they actually found the manufacturer's information on the back of the, uh, back of the tiles. Are you kidding? Wow. So they found a phone number and they and they called it. And sure enough, they they business was still was still in business and another funny thing that they told me is that they actually knew that they were <laughs> that they were calling for Liberace's house because they knew the call was coming from Las Vegas and they knew that you know well there can only be one there can only be right. one <laughs> who else is gonna call about yeah. copper exactly, tile. exactly now you want to take a guess on where the, the tiles where the company was Dubai. So, no, um, I mean, closer than definitely. It's not, not the United States. Morocco. Yeah. <laughs> we are in the Moroccan room after yeah. all. And you know, we're yeah, we're in the Moroccan room, and obviously the tiles are going to be named after the, the namesake of the room. <laughs> wow. So, and I, it, it, so it's really funny because you know I mentioned how Liberace he has. He, he was influenced by so many different places around the world. His travels, yeah. So, they're all, they're all, they're all, all of his travels, you know. Mm -hmm. As I told you before, you know, you got, the, you got the, the staircase that's, you know, well, he got it in Paris, but it was made in Italy. You got the, you know, the, the marble the marble pillars. You got the, the, um, the, hall, of Versa, the, the hall of Mirrors from Versailles. And then you got the... You got the Sistine Chapel ceiling from the Vatican. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nobody will believe in you unless you believe in yourself. Liberace. His bar. Lots of little sitting areas in here. Yeah. Where, you know, people could just converse after. Oh, yeah. I wonder where his favorite place to sit was when he was in here. Probably wherever the sun wasn't shining in his face. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Well, I think he... I, I, so I, I mean, I love the way it looks during the day. It, I think the sun's in an awkward spot at the moment. Yeah. So. Um, well, and I mean, some of these big buildings probably weren't there, and so at night, when the strip is all lit up, it yeah. probably was it, a great vantage it, point. It, it definitely was. At least in this area, it was the best vantage point from in this area during that time. See this strip over there. So you know, when, when that MSG sphere starts lighting up, that'll, that'll look pretty cool from here. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Another Baldwin piano. I sold one of those fireplace uh, screens. <laughs> That's so neat. Amazing. I'm just gonna walk around real quick and just show you a couple more little things. Too much of a good thing is wonderful. I wore the wrong shoes today on this marble floor, so I'm sorry for the squeaking on them. But so this furniture right here, it was all original. Well, not not necessarily original to the house, but it was originally Liberace's. And look at this crushed gold velvet. It's so pretty. Very French provincial. I have this book. 
I do. I have that book right there. Great table, coffee table book. And all of the floors are original. And you heard what he was saying about the uh, staircase there. And even all of the wallpaper and everything is original too. And during those time when the house was under some disrepair, you know, they kind of left some of the original, you know, wear just to kind of, it's that provenance, you know. And, you know, again, here is me talking about, you know, like, it, it, if you if you could like the like underneath this wallpaper the last person you know when this when there was no wallpaper on this wall before Liberace had it put in so just that kind of thing and even some like the nail holes and stuff it's just it's just really really amazing and they do utilize this space a lot for events. And I will link their website and everything down in the description. So if you're wanting to have a really cool place to have an event, my gosh, it's, a, it's, it's absolutely stunning. It's so, so neat. Cindy is FaceTiming her mom because her mom's a big Liberace fan. Here we go. So here we are in front of the, the bathtub. That's amazing. Guys, honestly, truthfully, if you're going to be in the Las Vegas area, you must, you must come here. Um, you walk in the door and you just feel such a positive energy and a positive feel in here. And I think that the work that they've done to preserve this is amazing and and you have to so I like I said I'll link all of the information to be able to schedule you do have to schedule a tour online it was very easy um they're great communications back and forth we took a very quick uber ride over here from the strip and so make sure that you come here if you're going to be in the Las Vegas area we were in here earlier but I'm just going to start and just kind of show you again a little bit closer up you can see all these frescas that are painted on the ceiling and like you said that they you know that the there was a relative or a, a dissension of uh, Michelangelo um, that painted these and they had to do some touch-ups but you know it's amazing that they're still in such wonderful condition he said that Liberace's bed was right there in that spot and these doors right here led out to the pool area and in fact he was saying that the closets where Liberace's um, master bedroom closets were how big they are now there are two bedrooms two bathrooms and a kitchen and in the size of his space that his closet was he's got this double-sided fireplace and then on this side is another bar a glitzy bar with that man up there one of my favorite parts in this room that's painted on the ceiling is this part here I don't know why I just really like that I don't know what the represent I mean this was like a replica of the Sistine Chapel but I don't know what this kind of represents but they're very he looks very you look very sinister so let me know in the comments if you have any you know in, in, in if you know what this is look he's got claws for feet are you like turning like here's the, the man and is he like he's get turning into like a, a demon guy it's very very cool and he said that this was the, again, you know, we talked about this, the original wallpaper. Oh, in his shower, let me show you. His, this was Liberace's shower. All marble. Like I said, look, he's got a fountain. Wow. This is beautiful. And he said that the chandeliers are, are original. 
Amazing. Okay, guys, I'm going to I'm going to end the video here. What a treat. What a treat. This was the highlight of my trip. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, make sure that you check out their website if you're wanting to do an event or just come for a tour. Come. It's such a wonderful place. It's so bright and cheery and happy. And so come and check it out. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. Hi guys. Thank you so much for watching my Liberace Mansion video. Um, there was, I was so excited to be there. So there are, were some things I'm, I'm editing it that I know that I left out. Um, but I will link some articles in the description down below. And I'll also link a really good link to a video done by one of my very favorite vloggers, Jordan from Days with Jordan the Lion. He was there a few years ago and he did a really good tour of the mansion and it kind of explained a lot of the history um, of how the mansion went into some disarray and the new owners taking ownership of it and, and, and just the care and time that they have put in to restoring the mansion. So I will link Jordan's video as well. I highly recommend going in and watching that. I was just so excited to be there that kind of I was, it was an out of body experience a little bit for me. So I know that there was a lot of things that I probably didn't say, or I know that I didn't say, but go ahead and please watch George's video. It, he did an amazing job. And honestly, his video was one of the catalysts for me to really be kind of going down the Liberace train, I guess you could say, and made me appreciate, um, Liberace as a person, as an artist, and as an icon. So thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to be back there soon, really, really soon. I'm going, I, I can't wait to, um, to experience it all again. So thank you so much. This video means so much to me and, um, I'll see you in the next one.